Now we want to make a filter so that we can transmit just the upper sideband. So this filter is going to have some transfer function HF. And this transfer function filter is going to completely remove the lower sideband, right? This lower sidebands will be completely removed by this transfer function. So how are we going to realize this transfer function? Well, we're going to need to use something called the Hilbert transform. Now, the Hilbert transform concept uh, is a little bit tricky. So the way that we're going to approach this is I'm going to show you a bunch of math about the Hilbert transform. And then we're going to go back and see that the Hilbert transformer is the filter that you will need in order to remove just these two sidebands. So let's get started. So let's imagine some, some signal x sub h. And this signal has undergone a Hilbert transform. So this is a signal x of t that has undergone a Hilbert transform. So it went into something, it went into a transfer function, and it came out as this Hilbert transformed signal. And so that means that we have some h, and you put in this signal x of t, and out pops your Hilbert transformed signal. So what, what is that Hilbert transformed signal? We're going to define it as this integral, this uh, integral from minus infinity to infinity of the function where we're integrating by this variable alpha. Now, looking at this, you might say to yourself, well, that seems pretty familiar to me. And that's because, okay, this looks, this does look a lot like the definition of a convolution, right? We have uh, integral from minus infinity to infinity. We've taken, we've changed our variables to this tau variable. We have one function that's a function of tau only, and the other that is a function of your original variable minus tau, and that's this g. So we can see some original function, uh, t minus alpha. We can see another function that's a function of alpha. We're integrating by this uh, modified variable. So basically, okay, this looks like a convolution definition. And okay, in fact, it is. So if that's the case, we can see that our original signal is here, and it's being convoluted with 1 over pi t. So in our convolution definition, right, we have xt convolution with 1 by pi t. Now, by the duality property, right, so if you go and look in the, your Fourier transform table, we have a duality property that says this 1 over pi t in the time domain can be transformed into the frequency function as this minus j signum of f. And so as I mentioned before, right, this, this is why we introduced the signum concept previously, why we could define, right, we defined our m minus and m plus using the signum, and it's because of this duality property. So by the duality property, in the frequency domain, we can now say that our signal, x of t, that had undergone, has undergone some transfer function and come out Hilbert transformed, we have a Hilbert transformed signal. And in the frequency domain, we can write this as our Hilbert transformed function as a function of frequency is equal to j multiplied by our original function multiplied by the signum function. So this is where that signum function has come in. 